Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Adrian Graphics and Marketing video. Today, I wanna to talk to you about logo designs and creating a million dollar brand. I've been doing branding for 13 years and there's a lot of knowledge and information that I wanna share with you that's gonna help you guys avoid a lot of problems and a lot of issues. I see a lot of people out there using stock brands, cookie cutter stuff, stuff that really just doesn't represent or communicate value to your clients and to their clients at all. So how do you find a great logo designer? Well. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, well, logo design may seem like a super simple process and a super simple task, right? There are apps that you can use now, there are websites that you can go to for free. There's all kinds of cool little tricks that you can do to create a brand overnight and within minutes even. Well, there's a big drawback to those websites and to those apps. They don't know the value of your company. They don't understand the culture, your core values, the colors. They're just basically creating cookie cutter logos for you that aren't gonna really communicate the value and create a connection with the customers that you're going after. And that is one of the most important parts of building a brand is creating connection to your tribe and to your community. So if you're gonna go hire an actual logo designer or a brand designer or a graphic designer, you need to know what to look for. And there are seven questions that I'm gonna share with you today that you should be asking and that you should be considering and looking at when you go to hire a logo designer or a brand designer. Now, as far as I'm concerned, there are two different kinds of logo designers that you need to focus on. There's one that if you have a brand new startup, your brand is gonna be more about you, it's gonna be more, uh, you're gonna want it to look more of like a small mom and pop as you're starting out, unless you have some sort of a software, you wanna make it personal. You wanna have your brand be a revolving around you because you are your brand in the very beginning versus a company that's already been around, that's established like an AT&T or a Quiznos or, a, or any of these big companies, Target, uh, they've never changed their brand, but companies like Target, if you have a company like that, and you're gonna do a rebrand, there's a much different approach to doing that than is with a new startup. And so you wanna find the right logo designer for the right project. If you have a new brand, one of the first questions that I want you to ask is, what does the creative brief look like? Are we gonna have a creative brief? Are we gonna have a meeting? What's your process in actually meeting with me and understanding what my brand is about? And they're gonna explain what they do, what process they take you through, and you need to get that information and write it down, take some notes. It's very important that you understand what their process actually looks like. And one of the things that will be a red flag for you is if they don't have a process at all. They're just like, oh, I'll create you something great. I'll create you five concepts, which is what you see a lot of these online logo design guys, the Fivers and stuff of the world. You just send them some basic information and they just go to town. But they don't really understand your core values, your personality. And so one of the things as a graphic designer that's helped me is I sit across the, the table from the other person in my strategy sessions and in my, my creative briefs, and I actually get to know them. I figure out what ticks, what makes their heart move, what makes them get excited, what are they passionate about because if they love their brand and they're excited about their brand then they're gonna be more apt to go and share out with the world and really reach the broad audience and that's what you need it's not just about creating a brand that is viral and just automatically just goes out and reaches a ton of people you need to have a brand that connects with you as a person and if that brand connects with you and it represents who you are then you're gonna be free and you're gonna be excited to go out there and share it so that is a really important part is you need to understand what their creative brief looks like and what the beginning process looks like for onboarding you then the second thing you need to ask about is research. How much time do they put into research? What does the research process look like? How, how are they gonna determine the competition in your space? Like what are they doing in that? And they should be looking at a few things. What kind of avatar you have as a company? Uh, what is your brand voice? Like what is the actual voice of your brand? Uh, your, your look, sight, sound, touch, all of those things are part of your brand. So you need to understand what research is gonna go into that. Then number three is your timeline. What is the timeline to create this brand? If you got a new startup and you're just doing something basic and personalized, it should be pretty quick. Pretty quick. I would say a week to two weeks is about normal. But if you're developing a brand new brand or you're doing like that's a big brand or you're doing a, a rebranding, then it's gonna take more time. You need to be able to look at all the data of the customers that you have, who is your target audience, who isn't your target audience, who are you trying to attract? There's so many pieces to that. You wanna make sure that you get that right. So you need to take it, take it down a notch and slow the process down with a rebrand because there's so many different assets that you have to go and recreate. It's a lot of work to do a rebrand and I do a lot of rebrands. It's one of my biggest things now where in the beginning I used to start up and do 
uh, actual new startup brands. But now I've mold, as I've gotten bigger clients and doing bigger logos, I've started to do more rebranding for companies that just aren't satisfied with the way their brand looks and the way their stuff looks online. So we're going in and we're doing, doing that. So you need to have a great process. I can't emphasize that enough. Your process is so, so important. I have a process that I've been developing now for 13 years as I've been doing this. And my process consists of five to eight different things that I focus on when I'm creating a brand for my clients to make sure that I don't miss anything. And there's a psychology, there's creativity, and there's art behind everything that I do, but you can't build a brand without having the science side, the facts, the numbers, the data, the psychology, all those things are very, very important. Now, the other thing that you wanna find out is what else is included in a brand or a logo design. If you're just buying just a logo design, that's completely different than buying a brand. When you buy a brand, they're handling all of the digital assets, all of your print assets, all of your printed materials, whether it's t-shirts or banners or signs or trade show displays or printed things like business cards. That is all important pieces to your brand and you need to make sure that you have somebody that actually has the skill set to be able to do that and to do it right. So if you have a brand guideline, that is going to clear up a lot of the confusion. So you need to ask this graphic designer or logo designer that you're considering hiring, what kind of brand guidelines do you include in this process, as well as what other materials are you including in this brand? So if you're doing just a logo, that's pretty simple, pretty straightforward, you're just gonna get the logo design. But if you're getting a brand, you're gonna get business cards, you're gonna get your social graphics for your Facebook and for your YouTube channel, for your LinkedIn page, for your business page. It's going to include a lot of other stuff. It may even include some promotional materials or stationery. All these things are usually included in getting a brand design, brand design done versus just the logo design. How many concepts should you get? That's a really good question. That's another concept. How many concepts am I gonna get, right? Everybody wants to know how many concepts should I get and should I expect? Well, as a logo designer that's been doing this for such a long time, I specifically focus on odd numbers. If you give people too many numbers, then they're gonna have a hard time making up their mind because you're probably gonna do two or three or four concepts that are gonna look great. So I always focus at either like three, five or seven it's always some sort of a random number and i usually don't do more than seven concepts and so if somebody does a, a three package three logo concept package they have three so i'm usually able to knock one of those out right away they don't like one of them and then the other two they're able to decide a or b and so i'm able to take that decision from three down to the two really quickly and then pretty soon there i can usually evolve the logo from maybe they like something out of the one logo and I can actually combine that into the second logo to actually make that one the perfect logo for them. Then if you do five, it's the same kind of thing. You're giving them a few more choices, a few more options, but you also have that odd number. So one usually comes out, maybe two come out right away out of the top. Then they have three to decide from. Then they kind of narrow it down to the top two and then it just makes it a lot easier that way. So three, five, and seven, it's typically what you want to see a logo designer selling in terms of the amount of concepts. If you're doing more than that, man, they're just kind of shooting in the dark and they're not being strategic enough. Anything more than seven, I never offer more than seven. and I don't think I've ever sold more than seven concepts. So, and then you want to make sure, and this is something I wanted to share with you that's very, very important, is the colors of your brand. It's not about just finding colors that you like. That's an important part of it. Like I ask my clients, what colors do you like? What, what's the style? What You want to make sure that it appeals to the business owner itself. But the way the business is set up, if it's a financial company using green, if it's an online social company using blue like Facebook or many of the websites you'll notice out there are actually blue. You can see this blue banner behind me. Blue is a very calming, soothing uh, color which works very well, but brands communicate emotions and values. So you wanna make sure that you're using colors that communicate the right values, the right emotions to your target audience. And that is something that I do every single time and I put a lot of energy into that. For me, I use the dark deep red because I want to show that we have a deepness and a richness and a depth of, of personality and passion in all the areas of our business. And it's kind of similar to the color that I'm wearing here on my hat, but it's just a really important area to focus on with the colors. Those colors really speak to people on top of the visual element. So you're gonna have your actual logo itself, which is the typically the text and the writing, the font that you're gonna use. And then you're gonna have a logo mark, which is also very important. So you should be getting both of those. If somebody tries to use artwork like photography in a logo design, they don't know what to do. Or they don't know what they're doing, I should say. So you wanna make sure that you kinda of weed those people out. If they're telling you that it's gonna take weeks or months to produce the logo, that's just too long. Unless you're doing a full rebrand and you have a huge company, multi-million dollar company, you should be aiming for anywhere between a week to three weeks for a, a brand or a rebrand. That's typically what it takes for us to do a full rebrand is about three weeks from start to finish if it's done the right way and the customers are actually following us in the right order. 
So we have a really detailed process. We call it the million dollar branding blueprint. That's why we've been able to create so many great brands for people. We don't just shoot from the hip. There's a lot of logo designers that just shoot from the hip and hope they get something that you like. You actually have to understand the person. They have to take the time to go through the steps with you and they need to make sure they follow these seven things that I talked to you about today. Having the creative brief, doing the research, doing the timeline, doing the process, your brand guide, your colors. And then the last but not least, which is a very important, and I saved this for last for a reason, is the cost, is what should you pay for a logo design? Well, I'll tell you straight up. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, I'm not gonna play around, I'm gonna tell you straight up. For a logo design, if you're having a professional logo designer do your stuff, you should be willing to budget 750 to 1,000 bucks, depending on whether you do three concepts or seven concepts. 750 to 1,000 bucks is a fair price because you want to make sure that that person that you're hiring is putting amount, the amount of time in that you need to actually do the job the right way. And it takes a specific amount of research, it takes a certain amount of time with you. I mean, if I'm gonna sit down with you for an hour and understand your brand and your personality and all those things, that's worth 500 bucks alone right there, right? Well, that only leaves me with 250 to 500 bucks to actually do the creative side and actual artwork side, which is the most important is executing that right. That doesn't include any revisions. That doesn't include any of the changes. So you need to make sure that you're actually getting a price that's fair, not just for the business owner, but for the actual, for the, for the artist itself. You wanna respect their time, respect their talent. And if they're a great designer, they're gonna quote you between 750 and $1,000 for three to five concepts. Now that's just for logo design. Now, if you're doing a brand design, we're talking about a whole nother pricing model. I typically charge anywhere between $7,500 and 25 grand for a complete rebrand. Now that might sound like a lot, but for a company that's already been successful, that's doing well, that really needs to take the next step and they wanna reach that eight figure, nine figure, 10 figure mark, hopefully billion dollar mark, then they're gonna actually, ha you're gonna have to step up your brand. And that is essential. Having a huge, well-known brand like that, that's worth seven, eight, nine, ten 10 figures, that is worth $25,000 or $20,000 or $10,000. Those numbers are not that crazy when it comes to businesses that are doing those types of numbers. So to where a small mom and pop might think that's a lot of money, it's really not. And I know guys that for just the creative side, just the strategy side, charge $25,000 to $50,000 for that. So don't think that you're charging too much. You can go out there and get the prices that you deserve. It'll help you bring in the right clients if you ask the right questions. So if you're a logo designer and you're watching this, I want you to follow this. I want you to have a written process. I want you to explain that to your customers. And if you're a customer, you're a business owner and you're looking to get a logo design, make sure you get those processes followed as well. It's super important that you get your logo design done the right the first time, because you don't wanna have to pay somebody $5 30 times, 50 times, and waste all that time trying to come up with the right brand and then confuse your audience. There's a lot of things that go into it. So I could go all day on a video like this because logo design is something that I've been doing for the longest. It's something I love the most. I love brands. I love creating new designs and new images for brands and rebranding them. I just did one for Roof Doctors. Something I do a lot of. So logo design is a very important part of the business. It's the face of your company. It's that opportunity to make a great first impression. And if you're not doing it right, it's, it's, uh, it can really be a hindrance of your growth right in the beginning. So get it done the right way, have a creative brief, follow the processes, and if you need help, you can drop a comment here in the video. Definitely hit the subscribe button. You don't have to, but I would greatly appreciate it. I'm gonna keep making videos regardless if you subscribe or not, but it means a lot to me that you love my videos, that you support my videos, that you see these videos so they can help you find a great logo design, create a great brand for your business, and help you serve the graphic design industry as a whole because I care about the business world. I'm an entrepreneur, but I also care about my fellow designers. And I wanna make sure that my designers are getting paid a fair rate. And like I said, 750 to 1,000 bucks to create some logos is not an unfair price. So don't be afraid to raise your prices if you're charging a couple hundred bucks for logo design you need to change that right away the meetings and the strategies behind your stuff is worth way more than you're giving yourself credit for and if you're a business owner and you're not seeing that then you need to go find somebody on fiverr because you don't really understand what the value of a brand is and that's another another video for another day so i hope you guys enjoyed this video that's it for today so definitely follow my videos, hit subscribe, make sure you smash that bell so you get updates on all my videos that are coming out. Got a lot of great stuff for you. And as always, keep looking up.